All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Altcoin Daily, where we drop videos about altcoins every single day. That's why you guys subscribe to the channel. My name's Austin, and let's talk about Ethos. Now, if you guys follow Ethos on Twitter, like we do, at altcoindaily.io, then you've already seen this, that Ethos's CEO, Shingo Levine, uh, did an exclusive interview the other day where he addressed some of the big announcements slash partnerships that we've just seen in the news. Also, he did sort of a uh, questions from the community. All in all, I thought this was a really great interview. I got a lot of value out of it. I'm gonna leave, gonna leave the link in the description below. But I just want to address some of the biggest takeaways that I found in this interview. Some of the stuff I found most important. So what I want to discuss is Fusion Financial. Uh, Fusion Financial just partnered with Ethos. We're going to talk about what this means to us as investors. Coinbase. Uh, a lot of people have been asking Ethos, is Coinbase a direct competitor now that they're acquiring all these new licenses? Well, Shingo Levine addressed this himself, whether these two guys are competitors. We're going to go over this. And at the very end, I just want to play you a very short clip where Shingo addresses the biggest misconception about Ethos. Get excited. All right, if you guys like learning about Ethos or you just like learning about these altcoin announcements, then you're definitely gonna like this video. But before we begin, let's just catch everybody up. You know, what is Ethos? It is a universal wallet. It's gonna be used to store all of our tokens, coins, digital assets, uh, safely and securely on our phones. So right now, the, one of the biggest barriers to entry in the crypto space for the common man is it's complicated. You know, we have to have a lot of private keys, a lot of different wallets. It's hard for the individual to grasp. So Ethos is going to be the one raw wallet to rule all of the altcoins. Hopefully. Um, their mainnet should should launch any day now. But let's get to this partnership. Uh, they partnered with Fusion Financial. So what does this mean? Well, what is Fusion Financial? Um, Fusion Financial, it, it's significant because they're a US-based company. And this is important because they are already registered with the SEC in all 50 states. So these guys are registered with the SEC, now partnered with e Ethos. And as far as what these guys do, um, they, they, excuse me, they do banking, brokerage, and wealth management. So what do they do? I mean, we all know banking. They do checking accounts, debit cards, bill paying. And with this partnership, it's going to be a whole lot easier to link our bank accounts with our crypto accounts. Uh, they do brokerage. What is brokerage? It's where you buy or sell, you know, goods or assets. And actually a great example of brokerage is Coinbase. Coinbase, where you go to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, is sort of a simplified brokerage. And now Ethos is partnered with somebody who does this. And then, of course, wealth management, where they offer automated, diversified portfolios, which offers people a way to invest more safely and securely. So we all know diversification is a great way um, to stay safe -er when investing, and they offer automated diversified portfolios. Anyway, stay with me team, don't tune out yet. Uh, that's Fusion Financial. Why is this significant to Ethos? And I also should mention full disclosure because the man himself tells us in the video that um, Fusion Financial is an organization that is jointly owned by many of the principal players of Ethos. So they share a lot of the same people. You know, he talks about it. But either way, these guys are registered the SEC. And that's one of the reasons that this is a big play. Um, in terms of why is it so hard, you know, why can't anybody, why can't any cryptocurrency partner with somebody that does, you know, these things, brokerage and banking and stuff like that? I'll tell you. Well, banks right now are not willing to take the risks. And I'm just getting this from Shin Shingo, guys, um, that banks right now are not willing to take the risks. And for banks to deal with somebody in the crypto space, um, they have to hire intermediaries. And that gets complicated. 
you know, a big reason why if you have a Wells Fargo bank account or a lot of these bank accounts, you can no longer purchase cryptocurrency. Um, you, you can no longer purchase cryptocurrency um, from your credit card. And that's how come banks don't want to get involved because it, there's too much risk. So Ethos is partnering um, so as to establish a different regulated entity, a federal, federally regulated entity. Uh, they sort of want to de-risk the model. If they can do this, you know, with Fusion Financial, it's easier for the financial institutions, easier for the people. And that's what I look for in partnerships. Is it good for us as investors? Is it good for financial institutions? Um, so that was the big play with FF, um, Fusion Financial. Um, and one more thing, team, one more thing to point out. I hope you guys are still with me. If you guys are excited about this partnership, uh, let me know in the comments. But another significant thing is, is Fusion, and excuse my French, is a fiduciary. A fiduciary. And what does this mean? I was a little unclear myself, had to look it up to be sure. But a fiduciary basically means uh, that these guys are legally obligated to have our best, to have the best interests of the client in mind. Legally obligated. And fiduciaries are rare in the traditional space. For example, banks, they're not fiduciaries. So we put all our money with banks and they're technically not legally obligated to have the client's interests in mind. Um, so that's one of the big reasons that Ethos liked this partnership with Fusion Financial, because this sort of holds Ethos's interests at heart, um, to have the client in mind and sort of change, uh, change the ecosystem a little bit. All right, team, that's Fusion Financial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's move on to Coinbase. Is Coinbase a direct competitor? Because as we mentioned, it's sort of a brokerage um, now Ethos is partnering with brokerages. Um, well, Shindu, Shingo uh, gave this really great article on Medium. I'm going to leave this link in the comments, but let's just check this out and set the situation. Hello, Ethos fam. We have a lot. We have seen a lot of press and action around the recent announcement that Coinbase has acquired a broke broker dealer BD, an alternate trading system license ATS and a registered investment advertiser, RIA. There has been a lot of misinformation and lack of understanding around what that means. The general perception is that any regulatory license is a good thing and makes sense. Uh, but Shingo goes on to say that that's not the case. So point is, Coinbase, we've seen these headlines, they're acquiring these licenses, the broker dealer, ATS, RIA, and he kind of lists specific reasons for all of those. Check this out. Uh, we're going to segue right to the end on what does this mean that Coinbase is acquiring these licenses. With regards to Coinbase, it's unclear why they would need these licenses. It's unclear why they would need these licenses and if these licenses could even be applied to cryptocurrencies at all. Licenses tend to be rather narrow with the activities that are authorized and regulated being disclosed up front. Unless these acquisitions were of regulated crypto firms, these licenses would have to be modified for the use in the cryptocurrency space. So Shingo says, Shin, Shingo says it all, uh, that he's not sure this is, the, just because they acquire these licenses, it's not sure that Coinbase is going to legally be allowed uh, to do some of these things. And that's why he likes Fusion Financial, because they're already registered with the SEC. Anyway, last thing I want to show you guys, I hope you guys are still with me. I kind of like explaining these altcoin announcements when they come in like 42 minute videos because I know a lot of people don't like to, don't have 42 minutes. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this or getting any value, uh, just let me know in the comments. But the last thing I want to address is the biggest misconception that Shingo hears about Ethos. Let's listen to this and let me just adjust my sound so you guys can hear this. If there was one big misconception you feel about ethos or one message that you wanted to get across to everybody that you just wanted to scream to the entire crypto space, like, hey, this is who we are, this is what we do, what, what would that be? That ethos is regulated, you know, the, or, or not ethos, but uh, we only work with regulated partners and we, we embrace regulation and we embrace 
the kind of legal, the existing legal and financial structure that exists in the space. Uh, you hear that, team? The biggest misconception is, and also one of the reasons that we've been waiting for this mainnet, these wallets to be released for so long, is because he prides himself in doing every single thing possible to stay legal and regulated in the space. Hence the partnership. All right, team, that was this 42-minute interview in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, the Universal Wallet should be released soon. I mean, he addressed it in this interview. I know we've all been wa waiting and hearing the word soon all the time, um, but he says that the mainnet beta testing should be out very shortly, and the reason it's taking longer is because one, since he's dealing with people's money, um, he's not going to release it until he is positive that they're gonna have a very high quality po uh, product. And you know what, gotta respect it. But, uh, all right team, that was the video. My name's Austin, and we'll see you tomorrow.